The impact of this water break literally lifted the street that I'm standing on. Well, there's been much debate about which team represents best here in Spokane, but I think the debate is over. Who do you think we have? Yeah. Morrow News is 8. Jamie Jones was at Cougar Ridge Apartments last night and is with us here now. Jamie? Thank you, Sonia. Two Cougar Ridge apartment residents are safe, and so are their furry little friends. WSU women will travel to Iowa to take on the Hawkeyes. Well, we just have sun at 36 degrees right now, and today's high will be 44 degrees. The Cougs swish in their second win against the Huskies this season. A powerful nor'easter is engulfing much of the East Coast, and now a blizzard warning is in effect from Cape Cod to New York. Wallets and phones, they're both easy to grab as car propellers are on the rise with warmer temperatures. It's about that time of year again to put down those textbooks and get on the road because spring is in the air. Well, not really. Winter isn't backing down just yet. So it's important to be prepared for snow and ice on the roads for your spring break travel. Honestly, you have no idea when you enter the pass, like what's going to happen. Like, I felt very secure with my driver, but it's just things happen that are unpredictable. Now, depending on driving conditions, make sure you pack chains on your way out. It's a dangerous road. I mean, it's two way, one lane each way. Like, it's kind of, if you get distracted and like, aren't paying attention and you can get a collision, it's bad. A representative from the Washington State Department of Transportation says, if you don't feel safe, take your time. When there's icy conditions or it's snowing heavily and there's poor visibility, the best thing drivers can do is either wait and go at a different time, especially if they don't feel comfortable driving in winter type of conditions, or to slow down and increase their following distance. Before you even head out the door, make sure you check Washington State Department of Transportation website. Underneath Traveler Information, click Mountain Passes. For Murrow News 8, I'm Jamie Jones. David Eby spends most of his days relaxing at home. A disabled war veteran, he now mainly gets around by wheelchair. If we go somewhere to see the grandkids do something or go to appointments, there's days walking just not an option for me. I gotta have that chair. But one day, he came out to start his car, load his wheelchair, and this was all that was left. Someone somehow removed the bolts and stole his $4,000 wheelchair lift from the back of his pickup. Who in the world would want to steal a lift? So now, He's limited to the space in his home. Sick to my stomach. I was, I, how can you do that? How dare you? H how do you take somebody's freedom and, and liberty away? Especially since he fought for our freedom. It's a low form of life that would steal something so necessary to just be able to function. Now, this humble veteran is asking for something simple. He just wants his lift, his lift back. We want that piece of equipment back. And getting his freedom back. 